Hey, hackers, welcome back to our Cyber Odyssey. If you missed the basics in our last videos, covering elements of information security, classification of attacks, hacking methodology, and more, hit pause and catch up on part one. It's the essential primer for what's coming, and it's the foundation you need. Now, in part two, we're upping the ante. This time, we'll be exploring the basics of hacking, what is hacking, who is a hacker, and the various hacker classes. It's a mind-bending journey that caters to both coding whizzes and those just starting out. So, buckle up, hit play on part one if you haven't, and let's dive into the next level of hacking in 2024. Now let's dig into the concept of, what is hacking? In the world of computer security, hacking is all about finding weaknesses in a system and breaking through security measures to gain access without permission. It's like exploring a building to find secret entrances. Hackers often tweak the features of a system or application to do something the creator didn't intend. This could mean stealing, taking, or sharing intellectual property, which can lead to businesses losing out. On computer networks, hacking is usually done using scripts or special programs. Techniques include creating viruses, causing chaos with denial-of-service attacks, making unauthorized connections to a device using tricks like trojans or backdoors, building botnets, spying on data packets, tricking people with phishing, and cracking passwords. People hack for various reasons, like stealing important info, seeking excitement, facing an intellectual challenge, satisfying curiosity, experimenting, gaining knowledge, making money, gaining prestige, feeling powerful, getting recognized by peers, seeking revenge, or simply out of spite. Hacking can have different motives, but it's crucial to understand its potential impact on others and the consequences it can bring. We talked about this in part one. Now, let's understand. Who is a hacker? Like we said, a hacker is someone who gets into a system or network without permission to either mess things up, take valuable information, or carry out harmful attacks. Hackers are smart folks with great computer skills, knowing the ins and outs of a computer's software and hardware. Typically, a hacker is a skilled engineer or programmer who's good at finding weak points in a system. They often specialize in different programming languages and computer systems, diving deep into the details. For some hackers, it's more of a hobby, a way to challenge themselves by seeing how many computers or networks they can get into. Their goal might be to gain knowledge or simply explore. However, some hackers have not so friendly intentions. They might want to steal important business data, credit card info, social security numbers, or email passwords during their adventures. Let's explore. Hacker Classes Hackers usually fall into different categories based on their activities, but if you've already seen our video on this topic, feel free to skip this section. Black Hats Who they are Individuals using their computer skills for illegal or harmful purposes. Activities Often involved in criminal acts and sometimes known as crackers. White Hats Who they are Also known as penetration testers, using hacking skills for defensive purposes. Activities help organizations secure their networks against malicious attacks with permission from system owners. Gray hats, who they are, work both offensively and defensively at different times. Activities, might help identify system vulnerabilities but also assist in making products more secure. Suicide hackers, who they are, individuals willing to bring down critical infrastructure for a cause, unconcerned about consequences. Activities, similar to suicide bombers aiming for a specific cause. Script Kiddas Who they are Unskilled hackers using pre-made tools from real hackers. Activities Focus on quantity over quality, often for personal gain or to prove technical skills. Cyber Terrorists Who they are Individuals with various skills motivated by religious or political beliefs. Activities Aim to create fear through large-scale disruptions of computer networks state-sponsored hackers, who they are, skilled individuals employed by governments to gather information and damage other organizations, activities, aim to exploit a nation's infrastructure and gather intelligence, hacktivists, who they are, activists using hacking to protest and raise awareness, activities, often deface or disable websites revealing confidential information to the public, hacker teams, who they are, a consortium of skilled hackers working together with their own resources. Activities. Research state-of-the-art technologies, detect vulnerabilities, and execute planned attacks. Industrial spies. Who they are. Individuals involved in corporate espionage, spying on competitor organizations. Activities. Steal critical information using advanced persistent threats and stay undetected for long periods. Insiders. 
who they are. Trusted individuals with access to critical assets within an organization. Activities. Use privileged access to violate rules or intentionally harm the organization. Criminal syndicates. Who they are. Groups involved in organized criminal activities, exploiting victims on the internet. Activities. Illegally embezzle money through cyber attacks and money laundering. Organized hackers. Who they are. Groups working together in criminal activities, well organized with leaders and workers. Activities. Perform various cyber attacks, steal money, intellectual property, and trade secrets, remaining undetected for extended periods. Now, let's delve into. Understanding of ethical hacking. Ethical hacking might sound like the activities of those with malicious intentions, but the processes involved are done for a good cause. An ethical hacker follows steps akin to a malicious one, understanding how to gain and keep access to a computer system. In this section, we'll give you a snapshot of ethical hacking, why it's important, and the skills that make an ethical hacker effective. What is ethical hacking? Ethical hacking is like the good side of hacking, where computer and network experts use their skills to help organizations test their security. The people doing this, often called white hats or ethical hackers, work to find any weaknesses or vulnerabilities in a system without causing harm. Nowadays, many organizations, like companies, universities, and government bodies, hire ethical hackers to make their cybersecurity stronger. Ethical hackers follow the rules, they get permission from the system owner before testing, and their goal is to make things more secure, not cause trouble. They use hacking tools and tricks just like the bad hackers but with a good purpose to identify and fix any problems in the system's security. They report all the issues they find to the system owner, who then works on fixing them, making the organization's information safer. The term hacking is often associated with illegal and bad stuff, but there's a debate about whether hacking can be ethical. Here are some definitions to help you understand. A hacker is someone who enjoys learning about computer systems and pushing their limits. To hack means developing new programs or finding creative ways to make existing software better. Crackers and attackers are folks who use their hacking skills for bad purposes. Ethical hackers are security pros who use their hacking skills for good to defend and protect. Companies usually have it professionals to check their systems for known problems, but ethical hackers go a step further. They think like the bad hackers, keeping up with the latest tricks and finding vulnerabilities that others might miss. The big difference is consent, ethical hackers always have permission, and they're open about what they're doing. Unlike bad hackers who try to sneak in, ethical hacking is always legal. Why ethical hacking is important As technology keeps advancing, so do the risks that come with it. To outsmart hackers, it's crucial to understand how they think. Ethical hacking becomes essential because it helps us defend against attacks by anticipating the methods malicious hackers might use to break into a system. By thinking like a hacker, we can identify vulnerabilities ahead of time and fix them before any real harm occurs. Hacking involves creative thinking, and just doing tests and security audits isn't enough to ensure a network is safe. Organizations need a defense in depth strategy, which means digging into their networks to find and expose vulnerabilities. Here's why organizations hire ethical hackers. Preventing unauthorized access. Stop hackers from getting into the organization's information systems. Identifying system vulnerabilities. Uncover weaknesses in systems and understand their potential risks. Strengthening security posture. Analyze and strengthen an organization's overall security, including policies, network infrastructure, and how users practice security. Implementing preventive measures. Provide measures to avoid security breaches. Safeguarding customer data. Protect sensitive information of customers. Enhancing security awareness. Increase understanding of security at all levels within a business. After a hack, ethical hackers must investigate to see if hackers covered their tracks. They look into whether activities like modifying log files or deploying trojans have been recorded and what steps have been taken to prevent such incidents. This helps assess the hacker's skills and provides insights into the existing security measures. The ethical hacking process depends on questions like What is the organization trying to protect? Against whom or what are they trying to protect it? Are all components of the information system adequately protected, updated, and patched? How much investment is the client willing to make for sufficient protection? Do the security measures meet industry and legal standards? It's important for ethical hackers and clients to establish a framework for investigation beforehand. The client needs to understand the importance of these security exercises, realizing that while systems can't be completely guarded, they can always be improved. Now let's explore. Skills of an ethical hacker. 
For an ethical hacker to be top-notch and use their knowledge in a lawful way, they need a mix of technical and non-technical skills. Technical skills. Operating systems. Expertise in major systems like Windows, Unix, Linux, and Macintosh. Networking know-how. Deep knowledge of networking concepts, technologies, and related hardware and software. Computer wizardry. Being a pro in technical domains, essentially a computer expert. Security smarts. Understanding security areas and related issues. Attack mastery. Knowing how to launch sophisticated attacks. Non-technical skills. Quick learner. Ability to rapidly pick up and adapt to new technologies. Problem solver. Good at solving problems with a strong work ethic. Communication skills. Clear and effective communication is key. Security commitment. Dedication to following an organization's security policies. Legal awareness. Knowing local standards and laws related to hacking and security. These skills make an ethical hacker not only knowledgeable about computer systems and security but also adaptable, ethical, and legally aware. Hey, everyone. I sincerely apologize for the theoretical deep dive today, but trust me, understanding the fundamentals is crucial. We're all about practical learning, and I promise our upcoming videos will be hands-on and action-packed. In our next videos, we're diving into the real stuff, exploring how attackers, ethical hackers, and pen testers gather information through footprinting before launching an attack or conducting an audit. It's going to be a hands-on journey, so stay tuned for some exciting and practical lessons. Thanks for sticking around, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. I told you that I see you later. Yes, I'm with some hoes. I don't wanna fuck. They inspire my creations. Big gas and slutty paper. Recipe to the greatest.